What's up everyone? For today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. For today's video, we're gonna be trying the QT or Quick Strips um, Limited Time Edition Pumpkin Pretzel. And it's a pretzel that is uh, pumpkin flavored and it also has a pumpkin filling, I think. And um, to be honest with you guys, I'm not a big fan of pumpkin flavored stuff. I do like uh, like pumpkin pie, that's about it. Anything else pumpkin flavor like pumpkin spice coffee or pumpkin uh, cookies uh, flavored things, I don't like. But I wanted to try out the, the pretzel because I do like pretzels. Um, and this had a pumpkin feeling and it seemed good. So I was just want to try it out. It's a limited time edition from Quick Trip or QT. Um, they only have it from I think it was from like um, Halloween to December 1st so we're basically on the cutoff of the day to get him so we're gonna try it out and I'm gonna tell you how it tastes um, I'm gonna show you a little bit of about it and hopefully you guys enjoy it but to start off they also released a neck roll and um, this is a, let me just read it off here this is an egg roll it's pork and vegetable and uh, it's a dollar, so I was kind of like iffy about it because I'm I'm a, I like egg rolls, but like authentic egg rolls, not from a gas station. But I do like Quick Strip uh, food. Their kitchen's pretty good, like their grilled cheese or ice cream. Their pizza is also pretty good if you guys want to try it out. And it's not too expensive, so it's a good um, on the road snack. Um, their kitchen, anything you want to grab. But for right now, to start off, we're gonna try the egg roll right here. And as you can see, I'm just gonna make a mess in the car, but it's fine. You can see, uh, it seems kind of weird, but I'll throw the crumbs in the little bag. As you can see, it has pork and vegetables on the inside. So we're gonna try it out. Okay. Hmm. It's not bad actually. Actually, pretty good. So this is a dollar in egg roll. They're on the the rolly things where um you would get your hot dogs and stuff, like the little hot dogs, the little um little flautas. What are they called? The little rolly th tacos. I don't know what they're called. Um. But they're there, and just just grab them, put them in a little bag, and they're a dollar. And honestly, for a quick little snack, I'm sorry for talking with my with my mouth full. So if you're craving egg rolls and you can't, you don't have a um, a Chinese food place nearby, but you have a quick trip, a gas station, QT, it's actually pretty good. So obviously, it doesn't taste like an authentic um like Chinese restaurant um, egg roll because it. I don't know, the egg rolls from Chinese places are a little bit more oily, more, um, I don't know, they just got a different texture to it, but this tastes like, um, like a Panda Express egg roll, like, almost the same, so they're pretty good, and they're a dollar, so, honestly, it's a good deal. So now, I'm gonna cleanse my palate with some water right here, and we're gonna move along with the pretzel, it's a pumpkin pretzel, it's a pumpkin pretzel, and... Let me just get it out of the bag. The next item we're gonna try is why you guys are here. It's the QT limited uh, time pumpkin pretzel. And it comes in a little bag like this. Also, before I show you guys, there's a few selections you can choose uh, when you're buying pretzels from QT. Um, you can choose sauces, for example, like the garlic ones, um, like garlic pretzels, you can choose marinara, ranch, any type of sauce. But for this uh, pumpkin one, you could choose icing, uh, whipped cream, and soft serve ice cream. And I didn't want ice cream, and I'm not a big fan of icing. Not even a big fan of whip. Uh, what's it called? Whipped cream. But I just wanted to pick one to try it out, see how it tastes with it. So here's the the big reveal. 
as you guys can see, it's a big, big pretzel. And this pretzel was two dollars, and with taxes, it was like two dollars eighty. But uh, without taxes, it's like two dollars and sixty cents. So it's not too expensive, and it's pretty big, as you guys can see right here. It's a big, big pretzel, and it has a cinnamon sugar sprinkled on top. Honestly, it looks pretty good. But like I said, I'm not big a fan of pumpkin flavor stuff, so I don't know how I'm gonna like it. Did say it had a feeling of pumpkin, so that's gonna be interesting. So let's just taste it and see what it actually tastes like. So here it is. We're gonna I'll put this away over here. We're gonna cut it open like that. Oh, and you can see the pumpkin, um, the pumpkin feeling right there actually. And see it right there. So, if it smells like pumpkin, it's not, it actually looks good. Like that, we're gonna taste it. Official taste test. Honestly. Honestly, not a big fan of pumpkin stuff, but this is really good. The pretzel soft. The pretzel soft from the outside, and the little sugar, the cinnamon sugar, is really good. But let me just chew this real quick. But what I think makes this pretzel what it is, is the pumpkin feeling, honestly. It's honestly really good. And if you, honestly this could feed, feed like two people. So if you're out with your friend, your girlfriend, your spouse, whoever. Honestly, this is very filling. It's a, it's a lot of pretzel. So we're gonna try the we're gonna try the whipping cream or the whipped cream, whatever you want to call it. So we have it right here. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. So I, I got whipped cream because I know with uh, pumpkin pies you put whipped cream on top. So I was like, you know what, let's just try it. So here it is. Like that. So I'm not a big fan of whipped cream, so this doesn't add or remove anything for me. Hmm. Well, yeah, it's a little bit of taste, but it takes away from the pumpkin taste from the the actual um, pretzel. I'm doing this help to help the actual Q team. So there's a bunch of people walking around looking, but my my car is pretty tinted, so they can't see in, but I can see them, and they're trying to look in because I have to have a camera on the dash. But not a big fan of the whipped cream. Honestly, we just eat the the pretzel alone. I do have some napkins here. Hmm. Honestly, I'm surprised how how good it is. It actually tastes really, really good. And I'm, I'm not a big um, sweets person, like super sweet stuff. And this just, it just sits right, honestly. It's it's not too sweet. See, I, I have the bag on them already full. But it's not too sweet. And um, if you're craving like pumpkin and a pretzel, this is Bethel Both Worlds right here. You can see it right there, the pretzel. Honestly, out of 10, a strong eight. Honestly, I've had uh, pretzels from like Retro Pretzel and other pretzel, uh, other 
pretzel places. And this is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. And um, it's sad that it's gonna be gone by December 1st. So if you wanna try it out, you gotta try it before that. So I'm not gonna finish that because I'm already tired of it, but like I said, it's a good um it's a good pretzel to share with someone else because it's really big. That's what she said. But um You should try it out. If you have a quick trip near you, you should try it out. They're not expensive, two dollars and sixty cents before taxes. And I'm gonna see, it's a it's a good thing. I like it. Would I get it in? Would I get it again? Yeah, I'll probably get it again next year. Not this year. Probably like it's a once a once a year thing, you know. Not something you want to eat all day. Cause it does have a lot of calories if you if you're into that. Um, when you order right there, it tells you how many calories. And this pretzel had the most calories. It had uh 550 calories. So you know that's like a good amount of calories for one sitting. But it's not bad. The pretzel had like I don't know. I can check for you guys right here. The pretzel had 170 calories, so right, my phone just flew. So it's not too bad. But try it out. If you like pumpkin pumpkin flavored stuff or the pumpkin taste or you just want to get in the holiday uh, holiday spirit, you should try it out. It's pretty good. So if you guys enjoy these type of videos of me eating and trying out stuff, um, please leave a comment and um, please like. Also consider subscribing. And leave a comment telling me what you want to see me try out next. If you don't like, let me just, my nose feels weird. Please tell me like what you want me to see you try or eat. Or if you don't like this type of videos, like let me know too. So if you guys enjoyed this video, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you on the next time.